Hey everybody, it's Danielle here, and welcome to my vlog channel. So, I am Danielle, the teacher with the fro, which a lot of you know me as that already. And some of you have heard me talk on social media about maybe moving or traveling abroad in the near future, and I have I've been a little bit vague about it on social media because I didn't want to give anything away until I had paperwork in my hands that I, that I was definitely for sure going somewhere. So a lot of people, some people know where I'm going already, but like I said, I've kept it off of my social media. I didn't want to have to explain anything in case anything changed or didn't happen. And I have changed my mind several times over the last year about where I was going, when I was going and all these different things. So I'm finally ready to announce it is April 9th, 2019. And I hold in my hand my contract for my dream job in, drum roll please, Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> I have always, always, always wanted to visit Thailand and to get the opportunity to not only go to Thailand, live there and be doing my dream job of teaching is beyond measure and a wonderful experience that I cannot wait to have. I, I'm already saying it's a wonderful experience I haven't even had yet, I'm just so excited I'm also very nervous about it. No, I don't speak Thai. <laughs> That's usually the first question people ask me. I don't speak Thai yet. I'm going to learn. And hopefully I learn at least some basic phrases before I actually leave. But we'll see how that goes. Basically, I just wanted to get it out there. I can't wait, can't wait to get to Thailand and start showing you guys all the things that I'm going to be experiencing while I'm there. So. Stay tuned. The teacher with the fro will now be officially known as the teacher on the go. <laughs> Still in the United States, but I leave for Thailand in about 10 days. And after about like two years of working on this, I can't believe it's really about to happen. And I've been trying to spend a lot of time with my friends and my family and people that I'm not going to see for a year at least. So, haven't been in the house much. So I made sure that I'm in the house now so I can actually start packing. So I've got my jumbo suitcases. Got the baby bear, the mama bear, and the big papa. Which I hate to use just plain black suitcases because I feel like they're so easy to mix up at the airport or for someone else to just grab them and walk off and you won't really even notice. But uh, my mom made me these handy dandy luggage tags that are super colorful and stand out. Shout out to mom. She always makes cool stuff like this for me. I've got my address and my email address on the back. But I'm not gonna show that, obviously. Um, so the last couple days I've just been trying to get stuff together so I don't have to cram everything for the last minute. Even though I've had months to do all this, I've been more focused on my paperwork, which I still don't have together, by the way. I have the paperwork, I don't have a visa yet, because I keep running into problems every time I try to get it. So as of right now, it looks like I'm leaving the country without it. And hopefully I just straighten it out when I get there. Right now, got all the documents I need right here waiting on one more document got my learn Thai book that my beautiful Aunt Jackie gave me shout out to Aunt Jackie hair products also just in case I don't know what kind of black hair care they've got in Thailand but I can't afford to wait until I get there to find out even though they're kind of boy looking sneakers but I liked them and they fit so I bought them I was talking to my co-workers and I was asking what things should I do definitely have when I'm packing and they were like if you're a bigger size make sure you have shoes or clothes because everything is small in Thailand and my shoes are pretty big size 10 
The main thing I've been dealing with is missing people when I'm gone. The year is a long time and I know the world just kind of moves on without me. This will be the first time I've ever been out of my parents' house for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And I'm gonna be around, I don't know who. The time difference, depending on what month it is because they don't do daylight savings time in Thailand, is 11 or 12 hours. So even video chatting or talking on the phone to people, I have a very like limited window of time that I'll be able to do that. I'll have to like call, I'll have to like wake up early on Saturday mornings when it's like 8 a.m. there so that it'll be like 9 p.m. here. It'll be like somewhat of a decent hour. Cause whenever it's evening time here, it'll be morning time where I am and I'll be at work. So, hopefully people will be willing to work with me and schedule some video chats and some messages, maybe write some letters even, I don't know. But it's really about to happen. I'm going to be picking up my whole life and everything I've ever known and just leaving. It is August 7th. I board my plane to Thailand tomorrow. Actually, I board my plane to Istanbul tomorrow. But I'm laying here pretty sad, surrounded by a couple of my stuffed animals. Feeling kind of bittersweet about leaving. But I do have to say goodbye to somebody very special. You've seen them on my Facebook. A bunch of times before, probably. The cat. For those of you that don't know, cat's real name is Harley. And Harley's been glued to me, and I think he knows that I'm going to be leaving soon. And we won't be able to do any funny cat videos anymore. You gonna miss me, Harley? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Heading to Turkey. What Really? It's getting real out here. I, it still hasn't really hit me that I'm really giving up my entire life for a year. But I think after about a week or two, when I'm starting to feel pretty homesick, I realize I'm not going back anytime soon. That's when it'll feel real. For right now, it just feels like I'm getting on a plane. Not special. I was planning on leaving the airport, but no. I'm in the freaking Badlands or something, man. I don't know where I am, but it looks really freaking sketchy. So yeah, we're just gonna stay in the airport. how this happened but I managed to end up in the front row lots of legs I think I have a TV somewhere hiding I don't know how to pull it out though oh plugs sweet oh there we go what? Alright. Let's play a little game. Never have I ever. Never have I ever had to brush my teeth and change my clothes on an airplane. <laughs> it's like you know it's getting real out here. But take a look at this nice this nice bathroom for airplane. They got the lotions and the soaps and the what is these? Get the oils, all that stuff. Yeah, the plants, foliage. I feel it, I feel it. It's about 3 a.m. I think, 4 a.m. maybe by now. No idea what time is when I'm over, but um, somewhere between Istanbul and Thailand. 